Welcome to 4C Rush and in our midweek video we're going to talk about how you can take care of your natural hair. Hi guys, so the first thing that you need to know when taking care of your natural hair is deep conditioning, right? Deep conditioning is really important as it is a treatment that enables you to retain moisture and protein to your hair right and when i say moisture and protein when you shampoo your hair it rips all of that natural oils and proteins from your hair when you get deep conditioners you can get deep conditioners um from your nearest pharmacy you can get it at a wholesale you can get it at a beauty store and for persons who love to shop online you can get it um from amazon right and you can choose your brand for persons who like to use natural stuff right you can use natural oils to actually deep condition your hair so you can use olive oil castor oil coconut oil any oil right you can also use simple bio or otherwise known as aloe vera and you can guys you can also use eggs deep conditioners whether it's natural or get it from the beauty store you can leave it for five to ten minutes or 5 to 15 minutes and if your hair is really damaged you can leave it for longer well no more than half an hour right so the second thing that you need to know when you are actually you know taking care of your natural hair is natural oils i mean it's a very sticky topic because it it wasn't something that we used back then growing up you know you have your magic oil or you have the petroleum or you know the baby oil will come in at a little um small bottle with the pink or the root up and then you have people who use wax and so forth and what we didn't know that these oils were clogging our pores it is recommended to use natural oil so when i say natural oils these are oils from plants right and natural oils you have olive oil coconut oil you have peppermint oil you have rosemary oil you have um you know you have neem oil and these oils have their different you know purposes so for example if i know that i'm going to do a wash and go and um i want some silkiness smoothness to my hair you know i use my olive oil okay guys so you can go to the supermarket to purchase your selective oils yes the supermarket so it's really up to you and what you know your hair likes right and you can always combine these oils and use them as well as i showed you before i add oils to my applicator bottle when i'm moisturizing my scalp the third thing that you need to know when you are taking care of your natural hair is your hair porosity hair porosity now what that <laughs> you know it's a very very good question Right, so back then we did not, and not even going to say back then, even now a lot of persons don't know what it is. So hair porosity is your hair's ability to retain and hold moisture. And every every individual have a different level of hair porosity. Right, they have three types of hair porosity. By the way, you have high hair porosity, you have a low hair porosity, and then you have natural or normal hair porosity. So basically high hair porosity is when moisture is easily absorbed into your hair right and that means that your hair is always oily so every look at those parts it stop your so before you go over this so, right so you, you, you have to wash your hair probably like midweek or you know every week and then you have persons who have a low hair porosity this is when moisture isn't easily absorbed into your hair and eventually leaving it dry. It can be genetic and it can be how you treat your hair as well, right? So when you have very dry hair, you have to be moisturizing your hair um, every day or probably like you moisturize your hair in the morning and you have to moisturize it again by the time you're supposed to go to your bed. So if you ever wonder why your hair is on a certain level right and basically your hair is growing however it is breaking at the ends why because your hair is not being moisturized you know how it is supposed to 
right and you know that eventually leads into your hair being unhealthy and just to say in the you know late 80s 90s and the early 2000s our natural hair was not um, embraced and when I say that I mean that yeah most at that time yeah most persons you know adding relaxers to their hair perming their hair whether it is jerk curl s curl even even when I was going to high school if you come to school with an afro the security probably stop you out of the gate saying that your hair in a comb right and even in the workplace if your hair is not tightly tucked into a pun you know it is unkept and you need to go over here but what i love about this era is that a lot of females a lot of black beautiful females are now embracing their natural hair and we have more persons actually wearing their hair out and you know once you naturally hear man i tell you it's a very very beautiful thing wanting to have to take care but it is worth it the fourth thing we're going to talk about today is um, LOC method, right? Why you need to learn the LOC method when taking care of your natural hair. The LOC method is using liquid, oil, and cream in that particular order to moisturize your hair. In my first video, I told you guys that I actually used a leave-in conditioner during the process of doing my dry wash and go. However, I think that leave-in conditioner should be used every day or every time you moisturize your hair and every time you wash your hair. Right? So the LOC method, um, it's really important, especially when you're moisturizing your hair. Yes, moisturizing your hair is one whole, it is how you do it. You add the leave-in condition first, then you add the oil. The oil traps the leave-in condition, which is the moisture on the hair. And then you add your cream, which eventually leaves your hair moist and hydrated. And also, when you use the LOC method, it keeps your scalp, you know, clean from bacteria. Right, so that is what the natural oils are for, and so any dandruff, dry scalp, or you know, any little thing that is on your scalp that is not supposed to be there, the oils will help that as well. The fifth thing um, that you need to know when taking care of your natural hair is protective styles. I mean, I don't mean that is our oh, hair ever braid up, ever do what not however do we do it for style or we do, do we do it to protect our natural hair right so for persons who don't know what a protective style is it is basically you putting your hair in a state where you can leave it for probably like a week or two weeks so leaving your hair untouched so that you know it can thrive it can grow and you can leave it so that it don't break or damage right so one type of protective styling is braids so for persons who like box braids persons who twist or um plait their hair so that's a form of protective style as well right and um basically the protective style helps your hair from to grow so after you put it in your braid you know i need to get out probably like a month and a half depending on how long you would like to keep it in because no people were keeping them braids for four months that is nasty you need to wash your hair anyways your hair will thrive and you will realize that you will grow at least an inch right so it is recommended to do protective styles and you have people who wear up them with good wigs as well so if you have wigs they can wear them as well so it's just recommended that you use a protective style every now and then to protect your hair from the sun from drying out and um you should be good thank you guys for watching stay tuned for another tutorial and make sure that you like share and subscribe and remember Healthy here is a happy